Hey everybody, welcome to this year's first Fall Food Friday video. So first of all, do not let my outfit deceive you. I am wearing a fall shirt, but it feels like the dead of summer outside still. We're still hitting 90 degree days here, but we are not gonna let that ruin our fall spirits. We're still gonna bake. We're still gonna eat fall foods. We're still gonna watch fall movies. We're still gonna light fall candles. We're gonna pretend it's chilly outside, even though you will get eaten alive by mosquitoes and sweat to death if you exit the house. That's okay. Let's make a cake. Children are excited about cake in the background. So if you are new and didn't see last year's Fall Food Friday videos, what these are are videos that every Friday in October we share a fall recipe. It can be any recipe, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, drink, dessert, any kind of fall themed or flavored recipe. And so last year we started doing it, I've done it for two years now, but last year we did a big open collab and that's what we're doing again this year. So anybody who wants to participate and make a fall food Friday video can, all you have to do is let me know in the comments of this video that your video is posted. I will then go watch your video and add it to the playlist. And that's it, it's that simple and it's really fun. I loved seeing everybody's recipes last year and I can't wait to see what everybody makes this year. And Bumble is crowing outside right now. All right, so let's jump right in to today's recipe. I'm making an apple sheet cake. Aldra and Jonah both said they wanted to help, but now they have disappeared. There's Big Dad. Happy fall, everyone. <laughs> I've been taking a fall nap. He took a fall, I took a fall nap too. We both actually took a fall nap in the living room and now I'm gonna make a fall cake and he's gonna go check on the boys up there with the fall horses. That makes no sense. Anyway, here we go. Let's get into this cake recipe. Mm -hmm. First up, in our bowl here, we are gonna start with three fourths of a cup of unsalted butter softened. So I have a little more than three fourths of a cup here, so I'm gonna have to cut some of this off. I'm gonna go ahead and chop mine up into cubes just so it'll make it easier to mix up here. All right, three fourths of a cup of unsalted butter. I love the way butter smells. <laughs> butter. Unsalted butter especially, the smell of unsalted butter reminds me of Christmas time because that's mostly when I use unsalted butter a lot. Now we're gonna put in two cups of sugar. All right, and now we're just gonna beat this until it is fluffy. Now we're gonna put in three eggs, but we're gonna do them one at a time. We're gonna mix after each egg. in one teaspoon of vanilla, and I'm not measuring this, I'm just eyeballing it, y'all. We're gonna pause from this bowl for a minute and get another bowl to mix up our dry ingredients. All right, so in this bowl, we're starting with three cups of all-purpose flour. Now we're putting in two teaspoons of baking powder. Titus had to go out to check on Cheyenne. If you're new, that's one of our horses. She scraped her leg uh, yesterday. So he's going out to check on her and all the kids wanted to go with him. So I'm solo cake baking now. All right, now we need one teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna do this one by measuring it in my hand because I'm using my salt shaker here. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. There we go. There is the fall smell we're looking for. Now we need a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Just a half a teaspoon there. Now we're just gonna whisk all this together. Now we're gonna bring back our mixer and we're just gonna put it on low and we're slowly gonna pour in the dry ingredients and mix them in. All right, we've added in some of the dry ingredients. Now we're gonna add in half a cup of buttermilk and then we're gonna do more dry ingredients and then another half a cup of buttermilk. Now 
gonna move our cake mixture over to the side again and we're gonna chop up some apples. Now, this recipe called for Honeycrisp apples, but I have these apples that are already pre-sliced and I think they're Granny Smith and probably, I'm not sure which red apples these are, but they're apples. So we're gonna use the red ones, probably Gala. They look kind of like Gala apples. Anyway, we're gonna take out some red ones here. We need about two apples chopped up. So I'm gonna get enough slices here to be about two apples. All right, so now we're just gonna chop these apples into small little pieces. gently fold the apples into the cake mixture. I'm using my fall little spatula here. Isn't it pretty? It's got pumpkins on it. Here we go. So we're just gonna gently fold in the apples, trying not to knock them off the cutting board as we do so. This is a really thick cake mixture. It's gonna be so good. All right, we've got the apples folded in. Now we're gonna get our pan. All right, so we've got our pan here. This is just a nine by 13 cake pan. Um, greased and lightly floured. You can also line it with parchment paper, um, which is what the recipe recommends to do. But I didn't read that part and I don't have any parchment paper, so we're just going with this, no big deal. We're gonna pour our cake mixture into the pan now. got it spread evenly in the pan now. I'm gonna put it in the oven. I have the oven preheated at 325. After about 40 minutes, we'll check it with a toothpick and see if it comes out clean, and then it should be done. the cake now we're gonna go ahead and make the frosting the cake still has about 30 minutes but we're gonna go ahead and get this made so the first thing we're gonna put in here is one 8 ounce block of softened cream cheese now we need one stick of unsalted butter half a teaspoon of orange zest half a teaspoon of vanilla once again mama is just eyeballing that and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt all right that's it for now we're just gonna go ahead and mix all this up all right, now we're gonna slowly add in our powdered sugar one cup at a time. We need four cups. All right, so now the frosting is done. I'll scrape down the sides and mix that all in. And since nobody stayed to help me, I guess I get to be the one to taste test the frosting. It's great. First taste tester of the cake. Sorry, I didn't mean to start with you. <laughs> How is it? Is it good? It tastes just like fall. Is it moist? Mm -hmm. Did you get an apple in there? Mm -hmm. Is it good with the orange zest mm -hmm. and the frosting on the apple cake? And do you really like it? Mm -hmm. Out of a zero, one to ten, what would you give it? I'd give it an eight. Okay. Do you know one of the ingredients that is in this here cake? What? Buttermilk. Really? Yes. I'm going up to a 10 on that. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that's it for this year's first episode of Fall Food Friday. I can't wait to see what everybody else made. And if you want to participate, you don't have to do it every Friday. You can just do it 
one Friday out of this month. All right, thank y'all so much for watching. We love y'all, and we will see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>